Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start on my review of Creed by James Herbert. So, um, as always, I'm going to read you the blurb, I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. This one might be a little bit more reading vloggy style, because I'm just going to give you what I've got so far, and I'll update you over the next few days. So, Dane reads. Sometimes horror is in the mind, and sometimes it's real. Telling the difference isn't always easy. It wasn't for Joe Creed. He just photographed the unreal. Now he had to pay the price, because he'd always thought that demons were just a joke. But the joke was on him, and it wasn't very funny. It was deadly. We get a reference to someone committing suicide in a very, like, gory, James Herberty way. So nobody understood why he had pulverised his favourite St. Louis brandy glass in a food blender to make himself a butter and granule sandwich. Surely, they reasoned, there had to be easier ways to exit, particularly at that frail age. By all means, use a brandy glass, but for God's sake, fill it to the brim with the finest brandy. Use it to wash down as many sleeping pills or painkillers as you can lay your hands on, and toast yourself to peace everlasting before pulling on a cling film balaclava. And a little self-referential bit here, which I enjoyed. Could be, he tried to reassure himself. Could be it really was only mice. Rats, even. He shuddered. It was possible. Yeah, it was likely. Those bastards could make a hell of a noise, and in the dead of night, sounds were amplified anyway. Anything might sound like footsteps once the imagination got itself into a tiz. Sure, and rats could easily get in through the rafters of these old buildings. Didn't he read somewhere that rats were taking over the city? Good idea for a book there. Somebody ought to do it. We get a reference to Bram Stoker's Dracula, and one of the characters is called Callie, and he finds out her surname's McNally. And he goes, Callie McNally? Sorry, not my fault. And he's reading A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking on the toilet. I've read that book, it was good. Um, we get him going to uh, Gro the Grosvenor House Hotel, which I thought was cool because I used that as a location in one of my stories in uh, the Lightfold series. And uh, he gets an answer phone message and it goes, Creed was in two minds whether or not to play back the messages. All he was in the mood for was a drink, a cigarette and bed. But when you live alone, it's hard not to be curious about messages from the outside world. And that is true, I live alone as well, and that's why like, I always end up checking my Facebook or whatever, because I'm like, I'm a bit bored of being all by myself. Okay, then this kid asks for a kiwi milkshake, and I was like, they don't do milkshakes. Um, and then that turns out to be part of the plot, his kids kind of set him up to go and ask for a milkshake that doesn't exist. But I was getting confused, I was like, McDonald's don't do kiwi milkshakes. Not that I know, because I can't drink milkshakes, because I'm vegan, but you know. Uh, we get a reference as well, an, eleva an elevator's dropping and he's wondering if he can time his jump so that he jumps just before it hits the ground so he doesn't get injured. But I'm sure that was on, on Mythbusters and it turned out that, that won't save you. Um, and then there was some graffiti in this, someone wrote Baldy Cunt with a kiss. And then on the next page they wrote a spoiler, um, which I then had to cross out so that whoever I give this to next doesn't get spoiled by the same spoiler, which because that was incredibly annoying. Uh, having said that, I didn't particularly enjoy the book that much anyway. I gave this one a 3 out of 5. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Creed is an unlikable character, um, and because of that I found it hard to really care what happened to him. Um, it just wasn't James Herbert's best, and then the ending of it was super rushed as well. It was just, it wasn't great. I mean, for any other author it would be okay. For James Herbert, it was definitely like one of his weakest books that I've come across. So I gave Creed a 3 out of 5. So there we have it, that's what I made of Creed by James Herbert. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this. If you've read it, by le let me know in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.